I present to thee a tournament topping competitive Crystal Beast deck. Let's go. 18, what, wait, I didn't even calculate this correctly. What the heck was I thinking? We are uh, off from lethal. <laughs> oh boy, that anxiety of them surrendering before you can finish your play messes up everything. What was I thinking? There can only be one winner and you're looking at it. Let's go. I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, where is Rainbow Dragon? Listen, I have nothing against building and playing meme YouTube decks, but this is an actual competitive tournament topping Crystal Beast deck. Not a meme YouTube video with Rainbow Dragon, which let me know in the comments. If you want that, I'll make that as a separate video, but this is an actual good deck. Thank you, Mythyard, for the inspiration. He topped an Anytime tournament, and I believe he topped another community tournament also with this. So double topping with this, there's got to be something to it. And yes, there is. Things that may stand out to you is, yes, it's stick and chair. But this is so much more fun in this deck. It just works out perfectly. He was playing three Zephyros. You could play that if you want. I'm playing three rare values instead of the triple Zephyros. So how do we make the stick and chair combo consistent with this deck? Well, Transcendent Crystals was recently changed. They changed the skill. You were not able to use this right away. You had to wait. But now you could use the skill, which what it does is you could send two cards from the hands of the graveyard to play two Crystal Beasts from the deck into your back row. Now, how does that work? Well, let me tell you. You're going to play two Pegasus into your back row. Then you're gonna activate Crystal Beacon to summon a Crystal Beast from the deck. But we only play three Beacon, that's not consistent. We play six Beacons. The Rainbow Bridge will search for the Beacon. The Beacon will summon a Carbuncle. The Carbuncle, when special summoned, through the effect of the Beacon, or through the effect of Promise, or through the effect of Conclave, will activate to special summon your back row Crystal Beast. So the Carbuncle will summon double Pegasus onto the field. So now you have double Pegasus, a Carbuncle, and now the Pegasus will activate to replenish your back row with two more Crystal Beasts in the back row. So from here, you have some options. If you discarded a Zephyros, the Zephyros could return the Carbuncle, and now you have a triple rank four exceed to make an Ouroboros or a Deltaros. Or if you have a rare value, you could activate it to draw two. Or if you have a Transmodify, which hopefully you do, because this is crazy, you Transmodify the Carbuncle, summoning a Scepter from the deck. The Scepter will activate grabbing a chair, but more importantly, the Scepter with the two Pegasus will make a rank four exceed. So if you make a Deltaros, you will destroy a card on summon due to the effect of the Scepter, and they cannot respond to the effect of destroying a card in the field. Then Deltaros could use its real effect, which is to destroy another card in the field, or your turn one, just discarding a card from your opponent's hand. Now, if you didn't notice, that whole play is without normal summoning. So you make your triple rank four play, and then you could perform an additional normal summon to have lethal alongside your Deltaros or Ouroboros, whatever you decide to summon. Promise could be good when you wanna summon just one Crystal Beast from your back row instead of going for the big beacon play with a Carbuncle from the deck. If you just wanna get a Pegasus from the back row onto the field to maybe do a small exceed with it. You can make a Diamond Direwolf if you want or just for more damage. When you're not going for the Scepter play through having Scepter or a Transmodify, I think the best thing to do with this deck is Conclave. This card is nuts. It is a continuous trap. If your Crystal Beast is destroyed by battle or card effect, this will summon a Crystal Beast from the deck which in the damage step, you could summon a Carbuncle, then summon both of your Pegasuses or whatever Crystal Beast you have in the back row onto the field. Now, that's the continuous part. The second effect is not continuous. It will make you lose this card. Whenever you want, you could send the Conclave to the graveyard to target a Crystal Beast in your back row or as a monster, plus any other card on the field, preferably your opponents, 
return them back to the hand. So if they're making a play, you're going to conclave, return their monster, return their back row, and return your Crystal Beast back to your hand. Just for reference, if you want to see his original deck, this is what it looks like with his own extra deck. I decided to play Corbage because I missed lethal on a game where I would have had Corbage, it would have been lethal. Corbage could return a defense position monster back into the deck and you make it after making a Giga Brilliant. So two of your Carbuncles will make the Giga Brilliant, which will turn into a Corbage to return a defense position monster. And that's the deck. You're making plays with Transmodify and Scepter, or you're just overwhelming your opponent with a Conclave, continually summoning your Crystal Beast from the deck, trigger the effect of your Carbuncle through the Conclave or your Beacon to summon your back row onto the field to exceed or overwhelm your opponent with, return your opponent's cards back to the hand with the Conclave, and you have a competitive Crystal Beast deck. World Champ Matt, yeah, you know, we got so many things to think about and talk about that we are not even able to equip the World Champ Matt. Let's activate the skill, double Pegasus. Very good. Crystal Beacon. Your suggestion is how the game was. You are not allowed to surrender during your opponent's turn. They already, that's how the game originally was. And they did note that people were being sent back to Fortnite by not being able to surrender. So it was a good change. But it created another problem. Double Pegasus, let's go! This rare value would have been a Zephyros, but let's see if the rare value is better than a Zephyros as I draw two instead. Let's see. You. And. You. Rare value. Rare value. He uses multiple accounts, that's why he's not equipping the mat. So let's try to think of the logic of that. How would that make sense? I don't equip the world champ mat because I use multiple accounts, so why would that affect this account while I'm using another account? Hmm. Do you even think? Why is Carbuncle not a beast? What the hell? You know what? I'm pissed. Now I'm angry. Now I'm angry. Diamond Dire Wolf. Target. In target. That's right. I just took out my own freaking monster. Wait, what do I have set? Conclave? I think it's safe to, to put this in the back row. Yeah, let's go. Hello. <laughs> Scepter with the chair. Pop in my own field. Who has ever done that before? No one has ever diamond dired their own fields to summon the stick and chair. That is what I'm talking about. Carpy Streams, thank you so much for the amazing song. I love it. You're getting that song stuck in my head. You are crazy. Draw. Boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. We could summon Oro, pop our carbuncle. And then we could return his monster back to the hand, or we could Deltaros it. Let's go. We have to pop our own field again. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We got to pop our own field again. Again. Activate. Pop. <laughs> Draw a card. Let's return. Target a card your opponent controls. Return that to the hand. Do not activate the wrong effects. Get the hell out of here. I promise to clap this fool. You what, mate? Holy moly, this deck is nuts. Absolutely nuts. That is what I'm talking about. We diamond direwolfed, sent this fool back to Fortnite. Let's go. Man, my flow was all clogged up. Sorry about that. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Adro. Adro. We got Transmod. Oh my jeez. We are flaming on again. What is with the flame on right away on the first turn? You know a deck is good when you're flaming on on your first turn. That's a deck. Ask yourself this. Does your deck ignite your flame on the very first turn? Pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Crystal Beacon! Crystal Beacon! Let's go! 
Activate double Pegasus. Activate double Pegasus. From the graveyard. And we'll do from the graveyard. Yeah, buddy. Transmodify. Turn that carbuncle into a scepter. I'm counting on you. Activate. You what, mate? Now, is this the one that special summons? When this card is destroyed, it sends to the graveyard. You can target a wing beast in your synchro. Okay, we, I think we pop that first, yeah? We pop in that first. Oro, oro, oro. Ouroboros! Activate! Pop that mate! Draw a card! Rare value, wow! Okay, let's Crystal Beacon. Let's go! Activate! Come forth, Pegasus! Activate from the grave. Rare value. Draw two pot of greed. Holy moly. Holy moly. Conclave. In case we somehow don't win, we will win. This is it. Target a card your opponent controls, return it back to the hand. Yes, I can. Return the fool. Okay, let's Attack! Go. You got this. Attack. 18. What? Wait, I didn't even calculate this correctly. What the heck was I thinking? We are uh, off from lethal. <laughs> oh boy. That anxiety of them surrendering before you can finish your play messes up everything. What was I thinking? Not cool, not cool. We got Conclave. I'm going to flip this up early so we can chain. We chain and we chain and get ready. We're going to win. We're going to win. The Conclave could have been a crystal power if we didn't summon the Carbuncle, but this is fine. This was, I think, a bit safer. Double Black Rowan. If he does not Samoon, then we win. He has to Samoon. Samoon's the only possible way he can make a play. Crack of Dawn. What the? What the? Conclave. Let's return this. And that. <laughs> no effect for you. Back to Fortnite. Chair was 50 off from lethal. Got him. <laughs> yes. Nice. Transcendent crystals. So this is going to be perfect. We're going to have a... We're going to have a big play here and a follow-up scepter for next turn. This is actually nuts. This is actually nuts. You don't need Zephyrus. I already dropped it to one. Don't worry about the Zephyrus, my friend. Activate. This is actually a great hand. <laughs> what? We're going to have stick and chair in the hand. And we're going to pop this fool right now. Let's go. This is what I'm talking about. This is what Crystal Beasts are all about. Activate, activate. His back row is activatable. So if this play fails, we have a follow-up stick and chair combo play. That is what is insane. Should we grab a carbuncle? Let's do a carbuncle. Let's get carbunkin'. Transmodify. Come forth, Scepter. Now, Scepter will give the ability to our Exceed to pop a card in the field. And if we make a Deltaros, he will not be able to respond to the destruction of the Deltaros. Usually, they like to wait for the Exceed. Because that one back row only takes out one monster. What if I put three monsters together? That one back row takes out triple monster Exceed. But they don't realize... Oh, he realized. He knew it. He knew it. He knew it. Wait, doesn't that summon the chair if you do it on the summon? Keck, wait. Keck, wait. No. 
but I still haven't- I haven't normal summoned! What? What? I have not even normal summoned. I guess we malevolent sin for game. Keck wait? Wow. I have not normal summoned. Really? I just have not normal summoned. I guess this is okay. This is a pretty good deck. <laughs> this is pretty good. Did he realize yet? Not yet. Not yet. Now he's gonna realize. Got him. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, goodbye. Back to Fortnite. Let's go. Nice. Crystal Beast is nuts. Why you shouldn't write with a broken pencil. It's pointless. Thank you, Stir Silver. I agree. I agree. Transcending crystals. I gotta be greedy. I've got to be greedy. I don't have to be. I want to be greedy. Beacon, don't negate. Stop. Stop right there. Stop. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's fine. Scepter. Jizzle. I read your message, my friend. I told you that being a professional babysitter is my full income. Taking care of you kids is enough. Thank you so much, Jizzle. Okay, let's battle. Take out the fool. When I go to the doctor and they try to make small talk with me, I tell them, I do not want to tell them I'm a YouTuber. I definitely don't want to do that. That's a ridiculous thing to tell someone. So I tell them that I am an online child entertainer. Tiger. Hear my roar. Conclave would have been so much better than this scepter, but you know what? He had to be greedy. We're not exceeding. No way. Okay. Does Topaz Tiger only boost up when attacking into a monster? Yup, only into a monster. Karma Cut, mate. You what, mate? Come on. How are you out of juice? What the heck happened to you? I barely have done anything. I barely touched you and you're out of everything. Oh shoot, Do you wanted me to attack? How am I supposed to know that you're playing a trash skill? Draw sense low level. Are you kidding me? That's why y'all voted that the skills should not be public information because he deserves to get that surprise factor, right? Hey! Let's go! Crystal Beacon! Beacon! We peeking! We lethal in! Let's go! He won't stop this, right? He won't stop this! It is time! Come forth, Pegasus! Come forth, Pegasus! I don't think you could stop this no matter what! Transmodify! Come forth, my stick! From the deck! Activate! By not leaving room to summon the chair, it makes it so if he has a back row card that could deal with one monster, we could normal summon the other. GG, no re. We're gonna use the Satellar Knight boss monster against him. He cannot respond, he can't negate. <laughs> he cannot respond. Pop, your Satellar Nova Alpha. Pop, your monster. No response. Check it, check it, check it. Wait. N yeah, there you go. Satellar Nova Alpha. That is what I'm talking about. Now we talking. Now we talking. I made a promise. To clap this fool. Carbuncle. We haven't normal summoned yet, you know that? I can't even... 
summon if I wanted to. I don't have room to normal summon. We are suffering from success. Carbuncle. Get swinging. I could have popped the carbuncle to make room. Oof. Must go. Just like that. Crystal Beast for the win. Yes. Oh, come on. It's already over. I didn't get to show my best moves yet.